Hi, my name is Anki Vyas of Israel. My email address is ahappychusid. A-H-A-P-P-Y chusid is C-H-U-S-I-D at gmail.com. Typical Ingaman, with Baruch Hashem, a family of six kids. Friday, March 3rd, 2017, we decided to travel from Skvade, where I live, to Staten Island for Shabbos. Um, I had my wife sitting right near me and I had five of my six kids sitting behind me in the car. A typical day, typical Friday. That's what it seemed like in the beginning until, just wait, let me just show you. Um, it wasn't so typical after a few minutes on the Garden State Parkway South, right before exit 157. When the traffic came to a halt and Right behind me, I had a truck, a maintenance truck coming to right behind me, gear me. My car flew and hit another two cars in front of me. Then my car went flying into the next two lanes. If you were stuck in traffic, I'm sorry for that. It was at three o'clock. And it looks terrible. It's something you can really look like it's a terrible, terrible thing to happen. If you don't mind, let me just show you this side. As much as we can see, it's at the dump yard, it's at the dump yard now. Um, the side of my car is all bad, battered. Right when the accident happened, the first second the ha accident happened, the old Baruch Hashem were okay. Turn around, are oh, the kids okay? Baruch Hashem, everyone was okay. They're like, we gotta get out of the car, that's what my 14 year old says, the car is starting to smell from gas. And that's when we, one daughter of four years old, she started crying. She was sitting right over here, in this seat. The middle seat right near her was my 10 year old daughter. And interesting enough, this son was not in the car. The one that has, if I can only show you the inside, is a piece of metal straight to where he could have been to his head. He decided the last moment not to come. <coughs> he decided not to come along for Shabbos and I sent him to my in-laws for Shabbos. It's not something I usually would do, but something told me if he wants to. He said someone, someone was bothering him at the house where I'm supposed to go, so he's not gonna go there. So it could look really terrible, but let's just take a moment. Like everything in life, you can look at the downside, but how positive things we can see in the same picture. Thank God, Baruch Hashem, my son, my seven-year-old decided not to come along because he would have been sitting in that seat. And he's not, he wasn't in the car and he's so grateful for that. No one, if we got just a few scratches, the only thing I can show for the accident is this scratch, the only thing you can see. And my kids just minor, minor bruises. Even before the first emergency vehicle came, we had a few cars stop to offer help. And one yeet stopped and he said that we could wait in his car since it was quite cold. He, we could wait in his car until help comes. And then he tells me he's not going to wait to Monroe and he can trap me in Monsi, in Square where I live. And after we were in his car, my wife asks him how come if he's going to Monterey, he's on southbound. He says he has no idea, but he made a wrong turn and he found himself in southbound and his passenger in the car said, if Shabbos making a wrong turn is not a good idea. He said, if Hashem sent me here, it's here for a reason. Baruch Hashem, all my kids were in the car before the first emergency, first, before the first emergency vehicle arrived. Um, no one hurt, Baruch Hashem, thank you for that. And I'd like to thank my father, which taught me all my life, you never drive unsafely. And always wear a seat belt. Everyone had their seat belts and car seats, booster seats, according to the law. Besides for that, um, besides for having that, I would tell you, if you're watching this on the Cheshman of taking care of your kids, stop looking at this and enjoy your kinderach, enjoy your family, and use every moment. And I thank Hashem for giving me the second gift of life. Thank you.